Hey guys, welcome back to the class. This is a part two of punching bag and Brian has been telling me that people have been complaining. Brian, is this, is this right? People say yeah. Maja, you don't even know how to hit the bag. Oh my gosh. Maja, you, you, have no, you have no real skills. You're teaching bad habits. Like, you shouldn't be like this. This is how you punch, right? You punch the bag. Well, the idea is guys, when you- With your hands down? Oh my God. Listen, if you're just gonna correct everything, you're not gonna learn anything. When you do something, when you practice on how to hit the bags, focus on how to hit the bags. You're not gonna be 100% right. When you're practicing your skill, you focus on your kick. Let's say if you're working on a ball kick, you wanna practice on a ball kick. Keep your chamber proper, knee goes up and down. Same thing with the punches. When you're landing the punches, you wanna see what you're doing with your rhythm. The class that we did before was about how to use the bag and how to be fluid. How not to take one or two shots and then take, everyone looks good when they throw. <laughs> wow, he's perfect, he's perfect. When in a fight, you ever watch fights? You ever see fights like this? And they're all like perfect? Like, no, when you fight, you have to open up, so it opens up the skills. Yes, I say practice, but the idea of the bag is to practice with fluidity and consistency throughout the bag. The lesson in the class was how to be consistent and non-stop rhythm, having consistency with the punching. Non-stop domino effect, making angles, making your footwork. Yes, when you're moving, you don't need your hands up by your face. Yes, when you're close to the back, stay your hands up by your face. The idea is when you're learning, you focus on one thing at a time. So eventually you bring up to your tools. The video one did before that was only how to practice on the back bringing non-stop angles, non-stop combinations up and down. Do not make a habit of doing one or two shots and then sitting back and relaxing. Fight doesn't go like that. If you watch all the, look, go on YouTube and look at street fights. It takes seconds and they don't stop. They go don't stop pop, 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 and then it's over then. So if you just start off with defense or offense, they work together as one. You gotta be consistent when you're attacking. Yes, when you watch the videos, when you watch the fights, no one is having a perfect hand. My idea is not to tell you this is not the right way. That's the right way to keep your hands up. It's true. But when you're learning a skill, please stay. Maja, Maja I've seen, I have memories when I was a kid when my dad was always telling me about Muhammad Ali, yeah. how great he was. And my dad wasn't even a boxer, but he yeah. like was a fan, right? And he was always telling me about, uh, what was it? Uh, uh, Zaire, when, they, yeah. when he fought with George Foreman. Yes, yes. And I still have memories of watching George Foreman and he's boom, swing it. Boom, boom, boom. Hands are not up like this. Yeah. He's not. He's not trying to yeah. look good, yeah. you know, and keep the hands up and everything. He's not doing that. So, yeah. He's got his hands right here, and he's going, boom, 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 just swinging away. It's I've seen Ali do it. I've seen Ali swing the bag, get out of the way, move back, jab it, throw his shots. Swinging down low, not even picking their hands up. Yeah. They must be focusing on something else. This is right. Good. You see that, guys? You should just listen to what he said. The punching bag is a place for you to land the shot, like target, shooting practice. This is target range. You're not hiding in a bunker and hitting from the bunker. Why don't people in the sniper room hide in a bunker and then shoot? That would be a real thing to do. No. When you go in a shooting range, you don't hide in a bunker. You stand up and start shooting tall. That's why it's the same thing here. I'm hitting my shooting range. I'm practicing how to land the shot. How to land the shot as open as I can. Like Isaiah uh, uh, Foreman, hitting hard as he can. Opening up his hands. It kills your skill to open up. Learn how to walk before you run. How can you punch it and how not perfect. Well, run first and then we'll tell you, you know, walk first and then you start running faster. Everything comes by steps. You have to add your steps to it. You can't be 100% moving this way and then punch it perfect. You will never have the opportunity to open up your hands. I'm telling you, a place to learn is to place to skill one thing at a time. Open up your hands, dig the bag hard, push it hard as you can. If you watch Ali, he never put his hands up because he's moving with his feet. So if your hands are down, put your hands moving with your feet. If your hand, feet are not moving, then move your head. Help your hands out. Yes, hands are up, but good. But when you're practicing, let me cut it short. When you're practicing, just focus on the punching. All right? And I agree with you. Hands stay up there, but keep on moving. Keep on punching. When you're learning how to can, punch. Can you do a demo? Can you do a demo? Do, do a demo of, uh, like, keep your hands up, everything like, like this. Perfect. And, yeah. and, and you're practicing that. And then also dig in like you were before. Yes. Or, Actually, you weren't really digging in on that. That was more like volume, right? Yes, it's more volume, more volume and consistency. And when you, find an in, when you find an opening, you go for the kill. But you can't do the opening like I'm sure. I'm going to start right now because I'm pushing. My hands are up. Look. 
Yeah. Yeah. But you want to even open up my skills. Yes. Yeah. My hands are up. I'm moving. I'm moving the motions. Constant from transmissions. Non-stop accents. We're moving consistency. Now change it, Michael. Now, do some, do some wow. something else. There. Now see with the hands are down. I can do more. I have flexibility. I'm relaxed. I can do more. It teaches me to throw combinations. I have ability to move around with consistency. And what about focusing on just power? Like just straight yeah, up power? Yeah, if you go for power, it takes more energy to bounce. Power's <clears throat> sitting down, digging in. But not every shot is a power shot. <clears throat> When you throw those, when you throw those power shots, that's like where people will say, "Oh, it's not like technically sound," but we're going for power. Yes. I mean, we're going for power. Like Foreman, he's not, he's not out there like like this going. <clears throat> no, he's like, <clears throat> yes, <clears throat> like trying to drive he's it in. He's whipping the shot, so that takes speed. Sometimes power loses speed. And speed is sometimes not power, it's just fast. Speed and power do different things. You put them together, they're strong, like Mike Tyson. But it takes twice the energy. It takes twice the energy to throw with power shot with speed. So you saw me when I did the power shot, like I'm breathing heavy. Because you do power shots. It's not good for training purposes because you get tired very fast. Your anaerobic exercises go off the roof. Which in long term, but it's but it's still good. It's just good for something different. It's, yes, it's good. There's nothing wrong with that. But in long term, anaerobic is bad for the heart. You don't have to worry about this at this time. But anaerobic exercise, people drain out very quickly. And that's why I remember if you saw my video when I was teaching hitting the back, you go fast in between, and then one or two punches, you throw power shots. Because if I throw everything powerful, yeah. If I throw everything powerful, that's like the biggest problem with almost every single every, fighter. Exactly. Every fighter, they swing so hard, and they burn uh, themselves out. The other, I know it's not a, a boxer, but uh, Adolfo Vieira just last weekend with UFC. Yeah, you saw that. He he got so tired, but he's doing a lot of grappling. But it's the same point: is using too much energy. Exactly. Instead of just being. Hot, Remember, hot, hot, hot. I say, run your own race with your pace that you can match up with the other person. It's like playing poker. You give out all the best cards out there right away. You, you, you got everything is left. Good player always have something in him. He knows he's always reserved. Ali had a great skills all the time. People think, oh, he's tired. He's never tired. He has always got a reserve. Don't go 100% and blow out your tank. Use this tool when you need the most. Yes, if the last round, I would say, go ahead. Explore the last 30 seconds, the last minute. You go out and explore. But this is what teaches you. This is the whole idea of the bag is to teach you to build up the stamina. With your hands moving, with everything moving, you keep the activity, being busy. I know it sounds repetition, but reality is it takes a lot of conditioning to keep your mind busy and being occupying different targets, different shots. It's not the same thing, you're moving. While I'm moving, I'm picking up the shots. Look at this, by the time he reacts to me, it takes too much time as compared to this. <gasps> yeah. Now it takes me another five seconds to recover yeah. what I just did. But this, it makes me consistent. Yeah. Even when I'm hitting, I'm thinking. I'm not just losing my brain. I'm thinking, I'm talking, I'm moving around, I'm thinking, put your hands up. So he's doing this. How is he throwing punches? Look. How is he throwing punches? Look. It freaks him out. It freaks him out. Like, what the hell? They take ass. Mm. Yes, yes. See, this is, you constantly you know, stay in attack. You, and, you know, I brought up. It's funny, I brought up Foreman, because I was actually, I brought up Foreman because I have memories of him just working on power. Yes. And then, and so I was trying to argue using that like picture in my mind that you don't have to always have your hands up when yeah. you're hitting the bag. Because mm -hmm. he's working on a certain exactly. skill. He's working on his power. But now, since I brought that up, let me say this. I was what, what, happened, what happened in the fight? Yeah, you I, have the guy whose yeah, power like fights Ali, Ali. and then and look, he Ali. pushes him against the ropes and, and Ali. he bangs away. Yeah, Ali did not have any power punching, but what did he have? More volume. Yes. He had more volume. And what did that do? He dropped him with the chop. No, yeah. a foreman could have dropped him with one shot. But he also, but he was like Adolfo Vieira. Yes. He like got tired. He got tired. Yeah. Burn yourself out. And then Ali was just jabbing, jabbing. And then pop, pop, one, two, and go on the floor. They were watching that 
that that preparation for the fight and thinking, do you see what Foreman's doing to he's that gonna bag? Kill him. He's going to kill him by hitting him yes. the same way he's denting the bag. Exactly. He's going to be denting Ali like my, that. My coach, Stan Ward, was George Foreman's sparring partner in Zaire in Africa. And I was, they were telling me that when they were holding back, Foreman was digging a hole. Oh, yeah, you can he see it. He was digging I, a I hole. Have he, I have memories of the yeah. bag being dented. And, and, and he, he was hitting yeah. so hard. And my coach said, we thought Ali's going to die. But what saved Ali? His movement and his consistent touching, mm -hmm. his burning. So Foreman burned himself out. He dig his own grave by overexhausting himself. Now he don't even have to stand up. By the if you do not know, if Brian right now he says energy about ninety percent. If I hit him a punch, he can take my punch with no problem. But if if he is tired and yeah. he only got ten percent gas tank, if I hit the same shot. He's yeah. gonna literally gonna pass, literally have loose all of the energy. A lot of people do not know that. When your stamina is down, your impact taking level drops down. You see the mm -hmm. video games say energy low, energy low, you're gonna die. That in reality and is some of that's physical, some of it's mental. Mental, I mean, like, and it's and it takes a lot of drain. When you mentally, you're physically tired, your mind, your brain listens mm -hmm. to the body. Oh shit, I have no stamina. So you can't flex, you can't hold your stamina. You have no breath. You can't resist any impact. Your brain can't even think, you can't make any decisions because you can, at that time you're just surviving. And when you're surviving, that's the last option you want to be. That's why my secret is all my life, if I had something good in my life, it was not just my skills. It was me having incredible stamina to kick and punch non-stop. I'll make sure that I have so much stamina that I double up the stamina. If you, if you ran one mile, I would run five miles. If you did kicking 100, I would kick 1000 kicks. My habit has not changed because why? It's not about hard shots, it's about consistent. Like I say, always give an example. Don't chop the tree with one axe. No matter how strong you are, a kid will come in, chop the tree, take all day, will chop the tree down. So don't be one axe guy, be, be one shot. And don't worry about me fixing my hand this time. At this time, your idea is to build up the stamina, to keep a conditioning, to have consistency and have non-stop action that you're busy and you're creative and you're thinking without holding my breath and being sharp. Yes, my hands are not. I'm here focusing on my rhythm. I'm focused on my technique. I'm focused on something different. Yes, the idea, the idea is to learn while you're attacking and I'm talking at the same time. So you can imagine how much it takes. Calm, loose, and relax. And when the time is right, <clears throat> one shot. You don't have to wait for it. You keep on staying busy. Oh, That's God. beautiful. Thank you, Brian, for sharing this. Thanks for the feedback. We're looking for your feedback more. We, lo we love your comments, guys. It we actually love. makes everyone better. It Thanks. makes us better, and then it helps us articulate what we probably could have done in one video. Now we did it in two. Only because of you. Thank you again. Thank you.